Okay, I'm going to show you the uh, JXP Builder plugin for Eclipse. This uh, plugin is used to generate Java source files from XML schema, either using the Caster API or the XJC tool, which is a reference implementation within Java. Okay, I'm going to go right from the start from uh, obtaining the plugin. Just run up, uh, run up Google, look for, look for uh, JXP Builder. It should come up the first hit. Uh, sourceforge.net Go under the files area and just download the zip file Open up the zip and that it extracted into your Eclipse directory, into your Eclipse plugin directory. Okay, so I'm putting it straight into my plugins directory. It's extracted there. Okay, I'll just fire up Eclipse. Okay, just a new project. Now, what we'll do now is create a new project. New project. Now, if the plugin has installed correctly, you'll see a new option under Java, which is a Java XML binding project. That's the one we want. Name to the project. Okay. Now the project wizard creates a number of uh, folders within your project. JXB, which is where your source will be generated from your schemas. Uh, Spice directory, which is a, a third party plugin I'll talk about later. Uh, binding area, which is used for XJC and schema. And this, is, this is where you'll create a schema for um, conversion into Java files. Okay, so right off the bat, we're going to create a new schema. Anything you like. I'll just go into the source and uh, cut in a new schema. Or paste in a new schema. Okay, save. Uh, okay, it's just a basic. Um, element ship to with a couple of properties name, address, city, country, date. And once I save that, you'll notice that JXB classes will be generated. Okay, there we go. Now you'll see here we've got a ship to class, Java class, which has all of our properties. So it's as simple as that. Now that's uh, using the default code generator with the plugin, which is um, Caster. Now, if you want to um, have the source generated in a package other than the default, what we do is we provide a mapping from the uh, target namespace to a uh, Java package. And to do that, just go on the properties of your project. Uh, you'll have a JXP properties here. Now, there's a couple of uh, code generators we'll talk about later, but at the moment the default is caster. Go into the caster tab, and you'll see here that's our target namespace. We we'll edit that, we can put in our own package. Okay, save that. And our source gets generated again in our uh, in the package that we've selected. Okay, now I've shown you the default code generator, which is caster, which you pretty much don't need to do anything for, just create a schema in the schema directory, and by the way, you can have as many schemas in here as you like. Now, if you want to use the XJC native code generator, uh, first thing you'll need to do is go under your window preferences. Uh, there'll be an option there for JXP preferences. Now, here you'll have uh, JXP toolpath. Now, this is the path to your XJC 
So, now these are generally provided with your uh, JDK. I'm uh, using 1.6 here under bin, and there's the uh, XJC tool. So I'll just um, select that and OK that. Now that's selected the path to the tool, but I uh, need to change my project properties now and use the JAXB2 code generator. And once I've selected that, I can uh, change any of the options here. These are the standard options with XJC reference implementation. Oh, I'll just leave the default and just OK that. Now you'll see here, code's generated. We have the uh, obligatory object factory which gets generated with XJC by default. You'll note that the package is automatically um, generated based on the target namespace. So there's uh, nothing we need to do there. And there's our ship2 class pretty much as we had before using standard XJC data types. Okay, now I'll show you um, how to apply bindings to uh, the XJC tool. That's what the bindings folder is for. Um, just create a new file in there, new XML file. It's called bindingxml. And I'll just put some standard binding in there. This is something I've pasted from something earlier. Okay, what we're doing here is just saying that um, our excess dates will be transformed into calendars. Okay, so we just save this. And we'll see now that the binding has altered the date to a calendar. That's the end of uh, this demonstration. Uh, there will be a further demonstration on how to use uh, Spice, which is a third-party third, third plugin, which is uh, quite a valuable little piece of technology.